So we are in West Wickham at the Hellfire Caves. We're looking into secret societies and cults. Uh, this area here, we're above it now. The caves actually run below this hill and above it is a mausoleum set up by a man called Francis Dashwood who was a politician, a bit of a money man. Um, he spent a lot of time travelling Italy in the mid 1700s and he fell in love with their sort of secret Catholic societies. So when he came back he thought I want to have that for myself. So he, he started this Hellfire Club. There were many but this was his one and he, it was called the Order of St Francis. So the thing is what we do know about uh, Francis Dashwood is he loved, he was a showman, right. he was really flamboyant, he loved all that stuff. So at worst this was him just being like putting on a show and, and doing something that was counterculture, like the first ever punk. He, right. They yeah. would all wear like white costumes with the leader dressed in red and they would do pagan rituals and they, they called it faux rituals but people have really suggested that the rituals that happened here were true. Um, but they were very sexed up, super sex maniacs. So in the, when we go down into the cave, so in the 1980s, there was a 60 year old woman that came to the caves and uh, she was a virgin when she came in. 60? 60, mate. And when she came in, and um, someone warned her that the ghosts inside were very randy. And she said, no, no, I'm going in, I'm going in. Yeah. And she went in, and when she was in there, she felt thousands of hands touching <laughs> her, and it gave her such a powerful orgasm. When she came out, apparently, she became a raging nymphomaniac. <laughs> And so apparently they're, the members of the cult or the society are still under there doing some kind of things. So we potentially things. today may have a happy ending. Yeah, so we may, yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's, three, there's three main ghosts. There's two that I'll talk about. No, there's three main ghosts. Two I'll talk about down there. One from up here was Paul Whitehead, who was the club secretary. And the thing that makes this club so secret is before he died, three days before he died, he destroyed all evidence of anything that they'd ever done. Right, dodgy. Um, and he said, so do you remember when we went to Minston, there was that guy who wrote in his will that he wanted to be buried yeah, yeah, in the yeah. thing. So Paul Whitehead wanted his heart put in, see behind us there, in that jug there? Right. And his heart was put in there after, after he died. And in the late 1800s, somebody stole it. And people say they see him walking here, clutching, looking for his no. heart. Um, but I think really what I want to look into here is look and find out what the secret society were doing and like how they built these caves just to facilitate their meetings. But so their meetings would only happen in the caves, not? Yeah, just in the caves, to, to be real, real secretive and you know, where, that's where the best orgies happen. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> Fake society. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we went, and bought, we went and bought some good uh, ghost equipment. I went and bought this little EVP recorder. That's small. Um, yeah, but it's not the size, it's how you use it, right? <laughs> so we're going to see if we can capture anything on here when we head into the caves, but you ready to head in and, and check them out? No, but we're going <laughs> to do it anyways. All right, let's go. <laughs> right, so this is the entrance here where we are. This is Whitehead's cave, which is the guy that we talked about at the top who had his heart stolen. Uh, this is Franklin's cave, so the guy that built it was actually friends with Benjamin Franklin, the oh, American right, yeah. president. So that's after him, and then as you come through, like this is where they would meet to eat. This is the, this is where it's strange, right? So this bit here is a triangle. Everything else is circular. But, and then you come down here, and this is called River Styx, um, which is the the river that Ferryman would take you down after you die in ancient Greece. Um, and then the inner temple, which is where she said to have a speak. And it's kind of so Oh, it's actually really, really narrow. It is cold. Oh, God, this is going to be chill. You've had snakes on a plane and now you've got ghosts in a cave. And so I know this story, so I can actually tell you the story. So the poor white one, he's the man I told you about with the harp says, but this lady, Suki. So when we drove in, there was a pub called the Georgian and Dragon Pub. Right. Um, and she was um, worked there. She was like a servant girl, but she had aspirations to marry someone rich. And she knew that the rich used to collect, like down here. And she got a message from some boys to send to her to say, come up to the caves, You're, you've been chosen for marriage. She came up in her wedding dress and it was all a trick oh. from these young boys who begged her. So she threw a stone at them to be like, F you guys essentially. And they threw stones back and it hit on the head and she died down here. The, the most interesting part is they call her Suki, right? The Suki isn't an English name. Mm. Suki is actually a Japanese name. So what they think is possible is that, you, if you ever seen old English writing, they use an F instead of an S for something. Yeah. They think it's possibly Susie, and there was a mistranslation. The F was used to turn into a K, and that's how they got Suki. Possibly more Susan, which was a common English name of the time. Oh, 
That's oh, yeah. They say people see her, much like Paul Whitehead walking around looking for his heart, people see her holding her broken heart. Have you got your dog whistle on? Yeah. Have you? Let me see. <laughs> Just tell, tell everyone what that is. <laughs> so basically, obviously I told my dad uh, what we're doing. Yeah. Um, we spoke to my dad in the last time, he's a big he's like very spiritual. So he basically <coughs> got this from, I think they're called a Gauri. That's the hug, it's a dog whistle. <laughs> It's like they call it gories in India, and there's like a special something or another inside of here that will protect me from bad spirits. Oh, let's see, mate. Let's um, see. And all that <laughs> yeah, why is it so horrid up here? It's really weird. The markings. Isn't it? Someone's hair. Is that hair? Yeah. That's very worried. Yeah, there's literally hair everywhere. Yes. Yeah, so, oh my god. Look how much hair there is up there. Yeah, it's literally terrible. Look how dark this corner is. Bring the camera forward. I quit. Look how dark it is in there. So we're now here, and this is the circle. So I think we go in here. And... You're great. We can go either I feel way. Like, yeah, I feel like that might be the way out. I feel like it's a loop. Yeah. So the 22 numbers, apparently, there are secret offshoots here that um, they kind of closed off, which would be like leading to parts that only leaders of the, the group could go to, members of the society. It was like a hierarchy, right? So only some people created certain ones where maybe the more senior secretive things happen. And this is like a reference to that. There was a, a falling out essentially why the club disbanded. And this poem was written, which suggests that there is indeed like 22 hidden chambers within them. Here we go. Should we go back down again? What was that? It's about three for Avengers. There's one of those up there. It's bigger. Well yeah, done. It does look like three. Yeah. Right? Oh, it does look like that. I got a picture of it. That looks like the Statue of Liberty. Legit faces. There's loads of them. Oh, there is. That looks like a half formed one. Oh, my days. This is like a door, oh, mate, sorry. So this is a picture 
interior of this St. Francis dashboard. And so he, was, he loved to be flamboyant, exuberant, he loved to play jokes and tricks. So this whole thing could just be a massive practical joke, two fingers up to the, the Catholics. It, yeah. could, it could all be that. Or it could be a secret cult where they were worshipping sacrifice and all that kind of stuff. Why is it so good? Oh, I'm going first. Yeah, Look. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going first. Get the light. Get the light. No, I don't think so. <coughs> Get the light. So the river sticks. It's literally the passage of the day. Scary, I'm oh, the triangle represents the vagina. Oh, this is the right, this is the very moment. This is where the steps do the investigation. So this is the end. Oh, is it? Oh, there's three more. Can I have the light? Where's the hex then? So I can't see my thing. I don't know if still because I just want to just throw it on there. That's, they've got the masks on the floor they used to wear. What I don't understand is how back in the day they thought those masks made you anonymous. <laughs> like, I can Legit. still tell who you are just because you have a little um, bit. So at the top when we came in, we spoke to Karen who works here. She said to get to this part, which is the inner temple. She said to, if we wanted to see anything or anything, we'd find it here. So if you are here, Karen has told us that you would come and make some sort of sign for us, or let us know that you're here. Um, any of you, really? We don't. We don't. We don't discriminate. If you're here, how long have you been here? Why are you here? What do you think about people coming here and walking down these caves, which were just for you, for your private group, and now you pay eight pounds each to get into it? Can we get a discount next time we come? Sam. Any Sam? That mannequin's eyes are literally so terrifying. Give us a physical sign that you are here. If you want us to get out, do that again. Let us know that you're, we're not welcome here. One more time. We'll go, just do it one more time and we'll leave you alone. I think we'll have to put that on coincidence. I think, mate, quite possibly. So, well, I think um, let's go back up. Check this out. Listen to it back. Uh, it's it's, it's going to drop, so it's just coincidence. You're right. That. Let us know, Suki, are you here? Francis, are you here? Paul, are you here? Are any more of you here? So we, we literally just came out of the caves. Yeah. And so when I said, did you hear the, 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 the dog? And you said, no, we had a noise, didn't you? And there's a, there's a, basically there's a dog down there. He the growls. Well, we think it's a dog. It's something that growls. I actually heard a growl. I 100% heard a growl. I thought it was a child. Yeah, kids. I thought it was like a thing they just played in the banquet hall area. We said Karen sent us. Karen sent us. Listen to come and let us. I don't see Karen down there. They'll get angry. Well, maybe That's mad though. Because I literally thought that was like some kid. I thought it was a sound effect. It's supposed to be spooky. No, it's not. Because I said exactly where it was. Yeah. I said to him where it was. He went, it was. Years ago, I came down here with an ex boyfriend, <laughs> and I felt someone touch me, and I thought it was him because it was walking behind me. Yeah. He was, I turned around, I was like, and he was miles away. No. And they, do, they do touch. They so that's the story. They touch. They touch women, right? They Young touch women. women. They yeah. touch. They yeah. touched it, yeah. When they throw stones. They throw stones. I asked them to throw stones. We did ask. Maybe it came into my head. if you asked them. Why do you work here? So 24 hours now since uh, Hellfire Caves. Uh, we just played you the guys the footage of the staff who we spoke to coming out um, and they had a lot of paranormal stories for us. We tried to avoid talking to them 
going in because we didn't want to go in thinking that it's paranormal. We, we always wanted to explore the, the cult side as much as the potential ghost side. Um, but listening to what they said, we checked through our evidence and mm -hmm. there are two things. The growl, which me and Kat did hear. So and, uh, Yeah, I think at least I didn't hear it yeah. uh, when we were there. But we heard the growl and then they said <coughs> we heard the growl where we said it. So we've got that. So we're going to play that now and you can hear the growl. You can make up your own mind on it. Um, yeah, so here it is. Here's the growl. What was that? What was that? The next bit that we have, the next piece of strange evidence possibly is in the room where we did the spirit investigation, you've heard something, you ran away. We didn't pick any of that up on our audio recorders. Um, Kat's quite evident that she thinks it was a, a sound from a neighbouring <coughs> tunnel come down. Mm -hmm. But as we exited that, um, the camera, as we were just turning the camera around, we caught a figure slowly walk through the doorway. And it's like a weird pattern for him to walk, or that they them to walk, yeah. um, kind of across like that. Yeah. that being yeah. in that hall, there's no reason. Absolutely. So it was 100% it could be, it could just be someone in there, but when we were in there, we were isolated, there wasn't anyone, we didn't, didn't hear anyone come in, it was very empty. It doesn't really make much sense that someone would have appeared in there so quickly after us. But we've got that, so we'll play that again also right now. We'll do it in um, normal speed and then probably slow-mo. Yeah, I reckon slow-mo. We'll put it in slow-mo. You guys can have a look and tell us what you think. But um, that's sort of based on what the staff were telling us of what they saw down there. But when we first got back and we were listening through the recordings of the Spirit Box session, um, we actually found a, a, bit of, a bit of text, a bit, a bit of voice saying, Who are you? Like you don't know how creeped out I I get with You're these terrifying. things and yeah, petrified <laughs> is the word. I literally called them. I was like, I've got it. There's a voice on the tape. There's a voice on the tape. And um, it said, it said, who are you? And then when we actually watched the footage back along with the the recording, there is actually in the case they're yep. playing some sort of audio recording of a conversation, mm -hmm. and that's what it picked up. So it picked up a pre-recorded thing, which could also be the the staff said there wasn't any pre-recorded stuff down there in terms of like the growl, but. 100% it could be. Yeah, um, exactly. But in terms of paranormal, I don't think I don't think we could say there was 100% I'm, ghost stuff happening. Yeah, I'm not sold uh, on it being a, a paranormal kind of place. No. I think, as we said, I mean, like, there's no reason to doubt the kind of cult side of things, that that's fact, that, that yeah. definitely happened. And I think, uh, I think I mentioned it in the video as well, how it's kind of the equivalent of nightclubs in this day and age. It's like a group of lads... Um, having fun in like an underground environment because they've got the money too um, and it's just they, they don't want the town to kind of spot what they're getting up to. Yeah, when you know when you know everything about Francis Dashwood and when you look at the facts around Peter Whitehead and they're like poets and satirists and artists and you yeah. see him in his dressing up, it, it seems like they were they were there to, to make a mockery of the religious society yeah, for sure. that they, they came across and it was a... So when Francis Dashwood first came back, he wanted to join Superstars and he was told he was too young and he thought, I'll make my own. And it seems like he made his own just to poke fun at it and also just to go down and bang some wenches. This is it. And it's, it, that's what I'm saying. Like People these days, instead of banging wenches, they go Oceana and... Legit. <laughs> and boom. Legit. Other <laughs> nightclubs are available. Um, <laughs> but, but no, I, like, that, that's what I'm not... Uh, like, I think you're scared to a certain degree when you're there because it's obviously a dark cave. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just one of the human natural fears, yeah. right? Darkness and... Yeah. Um, I, I, but I don't feel like there was a ghostly presence. Obviously, yeah. when we've done that thing... The, the sound recording and I, and I heard like a deep voice that I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just a bloke further up yeah, in, in the caves and it kind of travelled down mm. but obviously when, you, when you're doing that and you hear that yeah. you're going to get shit scared so I think there's probably a lot of those caves that are our secret passages that we haven't gone into because the weirdest part is that Bankerton Hall we were in that was quite large but otherwise it was just all tunnels mm. so if they were doing these rituals which we know they were doing some rituals we don't know if they were doing the satanic ones they were they were claimed which just seems like haters being like oh we don't know what they're doing so we're yeah, going to yeah. say it's evil there probably are secret offshoots that you can't get to and that kind of stuff because there needed to be more space for the amount of people that are supposedly <coughs> are there. Um, but I think all in all spooky place to check out yes interesting place to check out haunted no probably not no. I'm not doubting that the staff have seen things but I mean that thing is quite often the mind playing tricks on you and also they've got to sell the story this is it, and I think when we were speaking to them, there was a lot of kind of promoting upcoming events and things like that. So the best way to get a punter is to incentivize them to come back. Yeah, and 
I know in IB for you get a free fishbowl. Yeah, so. that's true. I do. <laughs> I do think. I think they believe. I think some of them do believe, and I think yeah that they've definitely got one of stuff. But I think we say paranormal stuff's been exposed. exposed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this investigation. We got a couple more coming up. Uh, hit the like button. Like, subscribe. Subscribe button. And comment. Let us know yeah, where you want us to go and next. Especially the footages. Let us, the, let us know what you think. Is it haunted? Is it not? Have you been to the Hellfire Caves? Can you share with us any images or anything you took? Um, yeah, peace out.